What's up everybody, this is Easy. Easy Street Gaming. Bring you another Brutal Age video. Today's video is on the E and War pattern. And I'll tell you what happened was, I was doing a different video. I was doing it on the, the Lonely Warrior E. And, and while I was explaining the different war patterns you get from the Lonely Warrior E. And, his own war pattern came up. The E and War pattern. And so to... A set of four, Ian, gives you life steal, 35%. And I had mentioned this in an earlier video, and I had I was incorrect as far as my explanation for it. It didn't really say, and I asked several people, and we thought that it, it would take 35% of their of their end life. So it's kind of like at the very end of a, a rank match where they don't have as many hit points as they started because it starts depleting from the, from the right side of the bar instead of the left side. But I was wrong about that, like many, many things. <laughs> What, what lifesteal is, every time you attack, you're actually going to get hit points back. So as you damage, you get 35% of the damage back to yourself. So if you watch the Scarecrow, I have the Scarecrow. I have some, I have some little heroes that I'm trying to, uh, I'm, I'm trying to upgrade right now. Uh, they're four, three and four stars. I'm trying to get them to four and five star. So I decided to put the Ian War pattern on the Scarecrow. Uh, Scarecrow is a, a hero that I've, I've never really done much with in the past but I thought that it might be a good uh, this would be a good experiment for me to t do to, to use the Ian war pattern on Scarecrow see how it does and as I'm watching Scarecrow I was really impressed by the overall reaction of the war pattern I didn't realize what this war pattern actually meant I, I had no idea so after I watched for a little while I started thinking about different heroes it, that have much stronger attacks much stronger attacks and What kind of impact would that have on your team on your war party if you would have a much stronger hero that would have Ian instead of whatever they would have uh, a good example would be uh, The blue nomad uh, blue nomad we all know is a huge attacker and He might do 5,000 damage. He might do 10,000 damage so if he gets 35% of 10,000 damage, that's 3,500 hit points or health points back. I still don't know if it's hit point or health point. Uh, someone help me with that. <laughs> so he'll get 3,500 back on that strike. And this is not a healer taking the time to heal the team. So then I start thinking about all of these different possibilities that can happen. Uh, one possibility that I started thinking about was if I were to outfit my entire war party with Ian and I'd have four big attackers all four of them with Ian as their main war, war pattern at that point I don't know if I would need to have a healer and the benefit for that is that even though healers are, are, are great right now most of us will use uh, a formation with uh, two attackers two healers or uh, two attackers a, a shield and a healer or a tank uh, two ha attackers and a healer a healer is part of, part of every it's part of every successful war party. Uh, so if you if you see all the leaders on the leaderboard on the Lonely Warrior challenge, they're usually people that organize their attacks and have one big attacker and, and four healers. That's how they get these big stats. So I'm thinking, okay, if I use all four attackers with all four Ian, every time they hit, they're recovering hit points. I might I might be able to push ahead pretty far. Because I don't have to have a healer, and I'm I'm, I'm damaging the other team on every single hit instead of every uh, second or third, because the healers are healing me and not not damaging the other side most of the time. So that so then I started thinking about it even more, and what if because I had Blue Nomad in mind? Well, Blue Nomad already heals himself without without uh, the Ian War Powder. He already most of the time he's already healing himself. That's why it's so hard to kill. Uh, another hero that's just like that is the Green Demon Killer. So you take those two, just for examples, where most of the time when they're striking, they're they're rejuvenating their own hit points. Then you add the Ian War Pattern on top of that, where they're getting another 35% on top of what they already get for their own bonuses. And we, we have some pretty big benefits from the Ian War Pattern. Maybe even justifiable to replace all Hippo like you would on, on the Blue Nomad. And you wouldn't have the massive hit points to start off with, but it wouldn't be as necessary because you'll be constantly replenishing his hit points every single time he attacks. So this is something that I think everyone should be thinking about. 
I, I, I'm sure your clan is not much different than mine and, and everyone spends a, a little bit of time thinking about war patterns and how to improve how to get better in the in the rally attacks how to get better in rank matches and ultimately you know ultimately they, they also help in uh, in your marches <laughs> I suck at this I'll spit it out eventually and another quick thought I had was let's say you have the colonel if you have one healer and it happens to be the colonel well she usually uh, well on, on some of the on some of the colors of colonel they, she doesn't heal the entire team but she'll heal individuals at a time which that leaves her her vulnerable so as soon as they take her out then you no longer have a healer she's not like the blue berserker that heals up the entire team I, I think one of them do but the other two don't so if you were to use Ian on her then every time that she's actually attacking the enemy then she's healing healing herself back which may also provide her with enough life to, to make her last the entire battle as well so all, all kinds of possibilities this is one of those things where I think everyone should try to investigate for themselves uh, I, I think that Ian is definitely a much stronger war pattern than, than people are giving it credit for I don't hear a lot of talk about it so try out the Ian war pattern I think you'll be impressed once you start looking at it like I have been it's, it's been really eye, an eye-opening experience for me so hope you enjoyed the video until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.